It's time to take a Tiger Cat's time out with Patrice Whiffin. Fans, I'm here with Terry Godwin. Terry, thank you so much for taking some time to chat with us. Really appreciate it. I want to start by uh, pointing out your little outfit here. I feel like you've got a lot yeah, of style. Yeah. But um, take me through this. Okay, okay. So <laughs> this is this is my practice gear. Okay. So I come out here. I usually have my jersey on top, but I got to have my double undershirt just okay. to keep the jersey up. You know, have, All right. sometimes have the six pack out. But most okay. of the time, I'm on the fat guy side, like the old lineman. So my six pack comes every <laughs> oh now and gosh. then. But okay. Then we go on to the long shirt to where right. you got to see this the style. Now, this is where the style comes in at. You got to have a little flair, like a little, okay. little, little tail in Are the Are you guys back. taking you notes on this? The tail? If you, any of the young guys, <laughs> if you play ball, you know what I'm talking about. You got to have your jersey a little tight with the shirt underneath hanging out a little bit. Okay. You, you see it a lot in the pros. So that. Hey. Then we go on down, you know. See, me usually, this is a little bit after practice. Right, of So course. right now I got on my long shorts. Okay. I usually have shorts that come up to like right here. Okay. Just so I can get my, my thigh showing, you know, uh, so you can see all the muscles and everything. Of and then course. my tights. You got to get the tights. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The is tights. there a specific brand of tights or just tights in general? I mean, it ain't a specific brand. Okay. But just the it's style. Like, yeah, you know, you know. It's all about the drip. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a water. It's like a, a, a water drop. So you know how the water drop starts skinny and then right. it gets big? Of course. So we start small up top and then the drip comes in. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The biggest part is going to be the cleats whenever you see anybody. Of course. So, yeah. Oh so, yeah. man, that's. I mean, that was that was pretty fun oh, oh, to go through. I can't oh. forget about my Apple Watch. Of course. You know, you got to keep, keep track with your calories and everything. Come on. You stay healthy gotta stay here that that is very important now this is a, an after practice outfit but, yeah, I, but you yeah. do have quite a bit of style and fashion and, oh, yeah. and like is that something you naturally are into or is it something that just kind of so you started I'm, to I'm learn more about insight. I'm gonna give you an insight okay back home I have three sisters okay and I'm the only guy that's telling all right so I went from being like uh, mainly sweats and t-shirt guy mm -hmm. and slippers to when I got in high school my older sisters they was like you're getting older, you can't keep just lounging around. You know, <laughs> girls don't want to see that. They want to see you with clothes on. Okay. So, you know, I started dressing up a little bit. I got to college, got around some older guys, and they dressed up all the time. So I'm like, hmm, okay, I guess this is what you do as you get older. And then as I got older and I got to the NFL or whatnot, a lot of my closest friends, we would get out the house and just go down the street to the store, and they would put on a whole outfit. And I'm like... Why y'all dressing up? But I came to realize it makes you feel good. Of course. The better you look, the better you feel. So for me on game day, if I feel good, I look good, I play good. And that there is that correlation. The field to on the field. For so, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, would you say that you are the best dressed on the team? Can Ooh. you say that? So I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I would say I'm top two. Top two? Yes. Who's, the, who's up there with you? I would give it to Congo to an extent. Okay. Only because, see, Congo, he has like this different vibe. Like some games he'll come where he has like a knitted sweater with his arms out, and it's like, you see, I can't fit that. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I, I can't pull that style off. So it's like, I just keep it simple to the simple stuff. Okay. But me and Congo, I, I'll give it to us. I'll give it to us, hands down. All right. Well, this is going to be available for all of the players to see, so I'm curious to see if hey. anyone challenges you on that. We have a home game this week. I'm just saying. <laughs> and, you know, we come dripped out. So we're going to see. We're going to see. I got something in the bag for y'all this week just for this. I got, I got you. Gotcha. Can't wait. Cannot wait to see it. <laughs> okay, switching gears away from fashion yeah, yeah, for yeah, a yeah. second. Uh, you recently, we'll say borrowed the TSN camera in the dressing room, interviewing some of your fellow players, uh, fellow, fellow teammates, pardon me. Uh, what inspired you to do that? And also, do you think you have a career in broadcasting? Is that kind of the next goal? I mean, after the game, honestly, I just was so hyped up. <laughs> and I seen the opportunity. Well, I will take you back. Actually, on the field, after we took the knee to end the game, I wanted the on-field camera, but he he was like he had to chase the quarterback, so he told me and promised that I can get it in the locker room. Ah, okay. So once I got in the locker room, they they upheld their promise, so that was good. But other than that, it's, you know, it's just all fun in the game and just being able to celebrate my teammates and just 
being able to show my my goofy side to my team. Your personality, able, yeah. yeah. yeah you know. So I felt like right there I opened up to a lot of people outside of the locker room because it was cameras or whatnot. But that's that's me. That's me. That's who I am. Well, so. the fans have loved getting to know you a little Thank bit more you. off the field. Take me to a non-game day. How are you spending your time? What are you doing to kind of relax? Are you relaxing? What does an off day look like for you? An uh, off day for me? So me personally, I try to sleep. Well, I try to hibernate as much as I can. So that off day... I'm going to sleep in to maybe like 8 o'clock, 8.30. Hold on, and 8.30 is sleeping for you? Yes. What time do you normally get up at? <laughs> I thought you were going to say sleep until noon. No, I wish. Sleep I until wish. 8 a.m. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't mess up the sleeping schedule that bad. So All on, right. on a normal practice day, I probably get up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock. So I get an extra hour, hour and a half of sleep. So that's good. But the days off, uh, like I said, I sleep in to like 8, 8.30. Wake up, give me a little breakfast. Uh, I come up here, depends on the day. If we have a, a rundown the next day, I won't get a workout because I work out the next day. But I come in, I uh, take care of my body, hot tub, cold tub. And after that, I'm exploring Canada. Like I'm either going to Toronto, Niagara, or somewhere I haven't been yet just to be able to take all this in. Now you mentioned off camera that you are very spontaneous. You love yes. kind of venturing yes. around. What was the last kind of spontaneous thing that you did? If I'm being honest, okay, so me and my teammate Omar Bayless, so the other day, well, last, this past weekend, we ordered an Uber to go to Toronto. Okay. We had no place in where we was going, no destination. We just got in the car and went, and when we got there, we was like, hmm, we're in Toronto, what is there to do? So instead of, like, asking some of our teammates that have been out here, we just kind of walked around the streets and scrolled, and if we saw a store or something, we'll walk in, check it out. So it's like it's like really on some, we're playing it by ear or going with the wind. Okay. So I would say that's kind of that's kind of a spontaneous thing I'm into. Like I get in a car and go somewhere. We don't have to have a destination as long as it's gonna be a good trip, and I'm with good people. That's that's just me. I love to have a good time with good people and laugh and just have fun. If you can tell, I love to smile and laugh. So that's me. <laughs> I had that's not me. noticed that at all, actually. I'm glad all. you. I'm glad you mentioned it. <laughs> no, you're a lot of fun. <laughs> you also mentioned off camera that you did some virtual reality thing. Yes. Please tell yes. me more about this. Okay, so I was here for a couple of months last year. Okay. And when I first got here, I actually took a trip up to Toronto and this this VR virtual game, because I'm a big gamer. I love Call of Duty and stuff like that. So once I heard about it, I was like, I have to try it. Absolutely. So I went up there and you know, you put on the, your regular VR goggles, but you have a whole suit that you put on. So you got like a chest protector plate, you have like arm things that actually puts you in the game. And once you put on those those goggles and everything, you actually feel, feel like you're in the game, like you're in the game running around. It's, Honestly, I enjoyed it, and it was a great time for me. A completely immersive experience. Very, okay. very. And if I would recommend, if anybody likes gaming, Call of Duty, anything, go check it out. Okay. Go check it out. Well, there you go, Terry. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. Of course. Really appreciate course. your time, and uh, you. have so so much fun this season. Thank you.